Dios, jinete de un rayo rojo. I came to Canada with my parents in 1980. I was 14 at the time and I didn't speak a word of English, so it was quite anxiety inspiring. Newcomers as they arrive into Canada, they, they, they face challenges, challenges that, and we like to change that into opportunities by providing them information, referral, a little bit of advocacy. Immigrants um, receive support, right, so that they can, you know, go to the doctor, go to the hospital. You know, there's this, there's this little part of people that thinks, well, you know, it's okay to give them support to, for their health, but for them to take music lessons just somehow doesn't seem right. People are just so much healthier and happier when they're singing and moving and dancing. We wonder how many artists were artists in their other life and then come as new immigrants to Canada um, and aren't able to, to, to move their art form forward. So we approached um, EOG at Mosaic and, and asked if they would be interested in partnering with us on a, on a week of celebration. I saw uh, an application uh, online. I think, you know, I'm always looking for opportunities for them to perform, for me to perform. If you're just getting started in a country, um, you've, you've, you know, there are higher priorities than uh, going to performances. So we wanted to make it as accessible as possible. So we applied to the Vancouver Foundation for a grant to subsidize the ticket price because our normal price is $20 to $25 and uh, to subsidize it down to $3. That they may have performed for their own community, they may have performed for, but for them to perform in a, in a, in a venue that has this uh, artistic uh, nature to it. I guess it empowered them. Well, I think it's a way that they connect to each other and to their culture and it's, it's a way to keep this music, this music going. And again, it's just, it's just so different. Um, we're proud of this music. We want to bring it out. We want to show people.